Hey love, so I am here guys to do the read for cancer. This is going to be for cancer, all house placements. If the messages here are resonating, take them, movies, cross watches, you are welcome. This is read from cancer's point of view. All right guys, thank you all for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I appreciate each and every one of you. Let's get into the reading, booking, information listed in the description box below. All right, let's see her. Messages, three of swords, first card out, down. <clears throat> okay, it's a heartbreak surrounding something here. Yeah, this is possibly three months ago, three years ago. All right. Six of Cups, Ace of Cups. Ugh. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Tell me about this damn six of cups. What is it? Is it, I hope it's nostalgia. Some, somebody's, there's maybe a nostalgic moment here taking place or something like this. Yeah, but it's like bad memories. Something's coming up and it's all bad memories. Um, a lot of you have had an influx of bad memories about relationships, people, places, and things coming in. I really feel like that's just happening, y'all, because they're, you're on the brink of something new. So I feel like there's new love showing up or there's a new endeavor that's taking place here. But for the majority of you, I'm leaning towards a new connection, relationship, business, whatever it is. There's something new. And for some reason, your mind keeps flashing back to like these bad moments in time that you had. Um, could be with one person, several people, all right, um, and how you've overcame certain things. I don't know. Like maybe during those times that you're having those flashbacks, Cancer, I'm going to urge you to just acknowledge the fact that you overcame that and move on. Don't sit in whatever this energy is. Like just acknowledge that you've overcome something and move on from it, all right? I don't want you guys sitting in it so let's see her nine of pentacles yeah look at that so definitely like free yourself um you're doing better now you're grown you've grown like you gained something all right um they said like red flags are a thing of the past so whatever that means for you like maybe you're no longer you know you don't have to worry about that maybe you can peep some bullshit a mile away now or something like this but i still feel like there's blessings coming in there's happiness coming in yeah what is this it's like being poured out like the whole cup the whole all the blessings like the whole thing it's not like you're going to get a sample of it a taste of it and that's going to be it like you're going to get the full experience of something let me see yeah I'm telling you guys, you could be thinking back on conflict, difficult times, or you could just be surrounded by conflict at this time. You're just being uh, advised to rise above it. I really feel like it's like rise above it. Yeah, four of cups. No need in crying over spilled milk sitting in, because this blessing is right here waiting. Waiting to be grasped, to be taken. New opportunity, new love. Um, But it's like you have to acknowledge it first. So, I feel like this influx of past memories, old things, things that you thought you moved past and gotten over. You know, sometimes, Cancer, you'll feel like, I, I thought I got over that. And then you'll think about that shit and be like, hold on. Like, I should have knocked that motherfucker's head off. This is what this looks like. Like, those little flashbacks. I should have knocked this motherfucker out. Right? Um... Like, yeah, don't give to whatever this is. Justice, yeah, look at this. It's in the reverse. Don't, don't try not to give to this or give into this. I know that's difficult, but it's like, yeah, a hair fan at the bottom of the deck with the sun. So, like I said, like we're keeping on the bright side of things, all right? Think about new adventures, new endeavors. You see, it's the two of wands with the three of cups at the bottom of the deck. So, I really feel like you should be leaning more towards those things, like how you're going to move forward, expand, advance, all right? Like that's what you're being called to concentrate on at this time, not this. Oh, shit. These old memories are popping up. Like, tell me more about the devil. Capricorn energy. The seven of cups. Like, yeah, it's meant to cause confusion, delay, things of that nature, okay? Um, <clears throat> something about the first and the fifth, or the fifteenth. I don't know. 
something significant for you about the first to fifth or possibly in the, even the 15th maybe um something has occurred on april 15th there's somebody's birthday um it could be anything guys uh but just or just one in five is significant for you all right yeah one in five is definitely significant for you the 15th is definitely significant for you and i'm not going to even go as far as to say april 15th okay if not just know in four months time something about the 15th may something may take place on the 15th yeah the page of pentacles so like there's something's taking place on the 15th it's causing a frenzy though and kind of like a little uproar Mm. Yeah. Like something I heard bang. What is bang? Why am I why am I hearing bang? Maybe there's a need to um For some of you, it's a need to stay inside on the 15th. Or yeah, it's something about staying inside. Some of you need to stay inside. Um, some of you, this is like going into prayer. Um, some of you need to fast and go into prayer for something, all right? Maybe, yeah, yeah, something fasting through a difficult time. It could be like nine days, nine days something like this there's like nine days of struggle or nine days of difficulty that is taking place all right you i feel like the goal is just to get through with whatever, whatever this is so that you can move past it all right it's like a waiting period or there's a waiting period of nine days the king of cups here i don't know why the hell he even came out let's see You may need to let go of control of something. Um, you could be overly emotional too. There's something about a nine day period of being overly, overly emotional or maybe for like nine days or for the last week and a half, you've been having these dreams or having these memories about this old thing. Like just understand it's like, mm, it's just the work of the, in, in, the enemy. You know, the, designed to hold you back in some sort of way. So you just got to kind of like make it through that cancer. Stay positive, think positive. Like, because like I said, there is this blessing coming in. Tell me more about this blessing for cancer. Like if you concentrate on whatever this is, it's upsetting you. Yeah, look at this. Like, I, I feel like this is meant to deter you from this. Oh, God, Lord Jesus. Um, okay, so this could be, we are in retrograde, okay? This could have started on the 15th, all right? April 15th. Mm. This could have started on the April 15th, and it could span nine days, all right? Um, yeah. So the 23rd, you see, or the 24th, you see this kind of slow down, or after, after the 24th or the 25th of, of April, everything may be okay. Um... There's a need to not to keep control of your emotions, not to hang on to whatever's taking place. Like, don't take shit personal, guys. Um, also, yeah, was that four days ago? Yeah, no, I don't know. Um, on Monday, it could be a, a large influx of just memories. Um, or just negative memories, like things that were unfair or something being unfair. Just let it go. Like, I, I don't know why I'm being urged to tell you just to let this shit go. Like, literally, you're, I don't, I don't think you're supposed to get like overly emotional about whatever this is that, that's being done here or whatever's happening. Tell me more about this for, uh, pentacles. Yeah, yeah, it fell. It's falling. Let's see. It's the four of swords. Yeah, so the four of swords came out, y'all. And that's why I just really feel like it's the need for you to just chill. We're not taking things personal. It's not. We're gonna stay positive. You need to stay positive. 
Tell me more about the Page of Wands. Yeah, the magician. Like it's all an illusion. It's made to throw you off course or made to make you second guess something. So like I said, I just feel like there's like, like, like I feel like there is difficulty. Like something's difficult. Something is like really difficult. <laughs> Memories, these people. And this is involving people, all right? Um, tell me more about the Seven of Swords. You may have some people trying to be slick. Like, nah, uh-uh. Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, you got people coming in trying to be slick. Do a little slick slide shit behind your back. And I think you're catching every piece of it. Or you see every little side eye. You see every little smirk. You catch every little fucking snide remark and comment but i really feel like you're being urged to let that shit slide because they ain't playing with nobody but they self okay so just let it slide because it's like yeah whoever these people are are playing they ain't playing with you they play with themselves i mean you could do that if you want to right like you're smarter than what whoever they are or you you just have the one up, okay? You see that there's something more to this. Like, I feel like you're coming, like, yeah, it's a lot of <laughs> combative people. And it, to me, it looks foolish. It looks like foolish, combative shit. Like, people may just not be, I don't know. Tell me more about this five of wands. Yeah, judgment. Like, it's saying, like, don't judge too harshly. Yeah, the five of swords. Eight of Cups, yeah, so this is like walking away from fights and arguments, like avoiding really getting into it with people. You know, sometimes, you know, sometimes you just gotta let a motherfucker think they had the, the, they, they, they had, had the one up, that they got the drop on your ass, you know what I mean? <laughs> sometimes you gotta let somebody think they got the drop on you or that they, they huh, and then she said, so I said, and huh, and I walked away. And they don't understand that the same foot that they bragging about putting in your ass is the same one that they just stuck down their throat. Okay? It's just that simple. Like, it, they really lose when it's all said and done. Yeah, something becomes very clear. Like, because you never know who's watching. Somebody's watching you to see how you react, how you behave in certain situations. They also say it with certain demographics. So they're just saying like, you know, so be careful, be mindful of that too. All right, because I feel like whatever this is, is meant to like mess you up or throw you off or have someone view you in a negative light here. Nine of Pentacles, you've been keeping up a good stride thus far. Like just, just stay that way. Like there's a blessing that comes in, but it's like whatever this is, I feel like there's just several people coming in, just being, doing things, causing confusion and, and things. Nine of Swords, the Empress. Seven of Wands, you know, it's meant to keep you stuck between the rock and the higher place. Keep you, like, in your feelings, your emotions. It's also meant to, like, make, mess up some partnership that's supposed to be really, really good for you. So, I feel like whoever this is that's considering you for a partnership or somebody could be looking at you and maybe they're interested in you. And, and if you flip out or you handle this situation in a poor way, Cancer, I feel like you could miss this opportunity, whatever this is. It's saying just chill out, fuck them. You know, get, get some rest. If you know the truth, keep it to yourself. Like, it'll come a point in time for you to really whip the truth out on their ass, but it's not right now. Look at that, the moon. That's confirmation. Eight of Pentacles, for a lot of you, this is in a work environment, all right? Um, yeah. This is some place you have to go every, every day. For some of you, this is an institution of higher learning. Like, this could just be going to work, you know? Or possibly within the family dynamic, guys. Take it as it resonates here. Yeah, the Queen of Wands. Oh, bitch. It's a culprit. There's a culprit to all of this. And it's so funny because maybe somebody knows you're up for something. Or maybe somebody knows you're considered for something. And then so they start having like 
people fuck with you. It's something like this, Cancer. I, for all of you, it's something different. So I don't really want to jump into it. But basically, it's just like someone is keeping up a bunch of shit because they don't want to see you get something. For some of you, this is just like nine days of memories. Um you know, the bad ones that are just meant to like throw you off your game that could possibly cause you to lose the opportunity if you actually indulge yourself in that. So it's saying just ignore that and move on. All right, y'all. Look at this. Death and the Six of Swords. Yeah. Like, it's got, it may be difficult for you to do, but move on. So it makes me feel like there's like six more days or something like this. 15... To the like the 24th. Today's the oh no, you don't have that many more days. Today's the 19th. So yeah, there's like four or five more days of this, something like that. For others of you, it could be a couple more days, but I really feel like around about the 15th, you would have started feeling this way. Yeah. You started noticing this, whatever this is. You're just being encouraged to move past it, move through it, fuck these folks. You know what I mean? Keep your eye on the prize, whatever it is that you're working on. You have 777, so there is a blessing amongst all of the foolishness happening here. All right? Um, be very strategic about how you handle people and what you invest into people in this time. So far as arguing and, and you know... Just what's said, what's communicated. Just be mindful of how much you're investing in that shit. Like, it's not worth it here. Yeah. Let people uh, keep their wrong-ass opinions, or okay? Sit in their wrongness. Let them do it. Fuck them. It's just not worth it, okay? Tell me what this four of cups is for cancer. Yeah, it's a two of wands, so the decision is yours. Like, you can engage and indulge in whatever this is, or you can choose to move forward and move on. And with the emperor at the bottom of the deck, and the nine of pentacles and the nine of wands, like, mm, somebody's been looking for just the right person to do something. And to be totally honest with you, I don't feel like if if, if you engage in this in some sort of way, you, you could possibly miss out on something, and it's just not worth it. I don't know what it is for all of you. It's something different because all of y'all have been working on something different. But I feel like it's not worth giving in to whatever this ugly ass energy is, Cancer. So this is where I'm leaving this off at love. So if the messages here resonated, give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, bye-bye.